Welcome to the PropTech Innovation Summit 2020. And I would like to welcome Akash from Space T. Hi, Akash. Hey, Anna. Nice to be here. Glad you're tuning in from the US right now. Why don't you go ahead and tell everyone who you are and what Space T does? For sure. Uh, I'm one of the founders of Space T. And uh, Space T is a uh, workplace uh, management and intelligence platform. And uh, we have a combination of sensors, analytics, and mobile applications that helps companies make data-driven decisions about their workplace, as well as helps uh, employees and uh, occupiers have a more streamlined experience uh, inside buildings. Wonderful. And you guys were actually one of our winners in 2018. And we'd like to know how has life been ever since then? And uh, how's your growth been in the last two years? Yeah, I think the PropTech Innovation Summit was a fantastic uh, exposure uh, uh, that we got a couple of years ago. And since then, uh, we've gotten a lot of traction in Europe, a lot of it as a direct result of the event, uh, a lot of new clients and partners. Since then, we've actually expanded to pretty much all of the major countries in Europe, uh, starting with Germany, of course, but also in France, uh, in the United Kingdom, and so on. So it was a fantastic event to get firstly, European exposure and validate a lot of the products we've been building and the technology we've been building. Um, but moreover, uh, it also has helped us in the following year uh, to win the global MIPIM PropTech uh, competition and uh, helped us really to take us from a European stage to a global stage. So it was a great event with great exposure and uh, it really helped uh, vault us into the next level. Um, well, as you know, the workspaces have changed in recent uh, months with the challenge of Corona. How have you guys dealt with um, Corona and being, you know, startup in, in the ecosystem? And how do you see your peers dealing with these challenging times? Yeah, I think for all companies it's very difficult. Uh, but I think as a as for young companies, we have a unique advantage that we're not burdened by the bureaucracy of large organizations, and we can make a lot of decisions quicker and kind of return back to the original stage of trying to react um, every day to new information and build new products and new functionalities and new go-to-market strategies. And that's what we here at Space D have really done in terms of trying to see how our products should be adapted to this changing environment. How can we help people uh, return back to work safely? How can we help companies manage their workspace in a safe way that maintains social distancing, that maintains a healthy environment, and really how we can plan for the future, uh, which you know will be for the next uh, at least six months and possibly two years, this new, as they say, new, new normal that we are facing here. Uh, for any entrepreneur or um, individual that wants to start a prop tech startup, do you have any words of advice where they should start with their idea? Well, I think uh, the, the corporate re or let's say real estate industry in general is, uh, is very old fashioned in some ways in the sense that it's always been a very risk averse asset class and therefore companies are always a little bit tentative about taking this step and investing in new technologies. So just keep that in mind whenever you would, you're starting an idea, the best thing to always do is to keep your costs low and start engaging with large buyers and piloting your technologies, making sure you're getting the proper feedback. And only when they've committed a large amount to buy your solution should you be scaling up and really hiring a lot of people because the industry is very slow moving because of the risk averse nature, which is the nature of the asset class. And therefore you should, you know, you should take that into account when you're crafting your product or go to market strategies. Great. Well, um, thank you so much for your advice and input. And we hope uh, you and the rest get to enjoy the rest of the PropTech Innovation 2020 and that we get to see each other live next year in 2021.